ಶಾಂತಿ ಮುರಳಿ ಡೇಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏಪ್ರಿಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ಎ ಹೈ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಫಿಲ್ ಯೋರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ಸ್ ಯೂ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪೆಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಎರ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎನಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ನೋಸ್ ದ ಹಾರೋಸ್ಕೋಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವೈ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬಾಬಾ ಸೇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ಮೈ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯೂ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ರಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಯೂ ಹಾವೆವರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯೂ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯೂ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯೂ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಇಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ನೋ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಎಫ್ರೇಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯೂ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಎಫ್ರೇಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಶೆಡಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ because it is in your intellects that you souls are imperishable even if you shed your old body you have to return home i am a bodiless soul while living in this body i am drinking the nectar of knowledge from the father this is why baba says children may you remain immortal become serviceable and your life spans will continue to increase song do not forget the days of your childhood om shanti you children heard the song you must not forget the one whom you call mamma and baba those who compose the song do not understand the meaning of it they don't even have the faith that they are the children of that supreme father the supreme soul the supreme father the supreme soul has to come here to purify the impure he comes to do such elevated service he doesn't have any arrogance he is called egoless there is no question of his intellect having faith or him becoming soul conscious he never has doubts he never becomes body conscious human beings become body conscious and so they have to make so much effort to become soul conscious baba says consider yourselves to be souls human beings say consider yourselves to be the supreme soul there is so much difference on the one hand they remember the purifier and then they say that god is in everyone go and explain to them look where baba has come from in order to reform you children those who have found faith say you truly are our mother and father we have come here to follow your shrimat and to become elevated deities god is always pure people call out to him come to the impure world so he would definitely have to enter an impure body there is no one with a pure body in the impure world so look how egoless the father is he has to enter an impure body 
we would not call ourselves complete we are becoming that now the unlimited father now says children follow shrimat the father gives shrimat wake up early in the morning so that your sins will be burnt away if you don't follow shrimat your sins cannot be absolved you will remain monkeys and you will then have to experience very severe punishment animals etc don't experience punishment punishment is for human beings if a bull killed someone would it be jailed they would instantly put a person in jail the father explains at this time human beings are even worse than animals they now have to change from humans into deities baba explains even lakshmi and narayan do not know the knowledge of the gita there is no need for it there because the father is the creator no one there is a seer of the three aspects of time now although human beings are not seers of the three aspects of time they still say they are god therefore write in large letters the god of the gita is the supreme father the supreme soul not krishna it is this main mistake that doesn't sit in anyone's intellect nor do some children make it sit in anyone's intellect they have forgotten that bharat itself was heaven they have said that the duration of the cycle is hundreds of thousands of years this is why when they find some old remains they say they must be hundreds of thousands of years old sometimes some people even say that 3000 years before christ bharat was heaven you know that you were deities maya has totally made you worth shells you now have no value so you children should also now come out of the extreme darkness never perform any such task that someone would have to ask you are you a monkey I come from such a far away land in order to wash your dirty clothes. You souls have become completely dirty. Now remember me and your lights will be ignited. Continue to fill yourselves, you souls, with the petrol of knowledge so that you claim some status there. it is not good if you go there and become maids or servants this is raj yoga and so you should claim a high status if you go and become maids or servants what inheritance would you have claimed from god none at all if someone were asked to ask baba Baba would instantly tell him do everything by just receiving a signal whoever does something without even being told to do so is a deity those who do something after being told to do it are human beings you are now received shrimat to become deities the father who makes you elevated says put up a board in large lettering at an exhibition so that 
people's eye opened to the fact that Krishna is not the God. He takes rebirth. People believe that Krishna doesn't take rebirth and he is present everywhere. Worshippers of Hanuman would say that Hanuman is everywhere. Here you have to claim your inheritance from the one father. The God of the Gita makes you become like diamonds. Because the name of the Sir Monisar has been changed. This has become the state of Bharat. This is not explained so strongly as yet. Only the one is the ocean of knowledge. He is also the purifier. Those people say that the Ganga is the purifier. The Ganga emerged from the ocean, so why do they not go and bathe in the ocean? In order to explain this to them, you children have to have angelic qualities. Explain to everyone, we only praise the one Father. Everyone believes in incorporeal God. But they also say he is omnipresent. They even say, O Rama, O Supreme Soul. They turn the beads of a rosary. The tassel is at the top. They don't understand the meaning of this. This is the tassel and then the dual bead. That represents the mother and father of the family path. If a creation is to be created, then a mother and father are surely needed. He sits here and makes us worthy through this one and then the rosary is remembered. They don't even know the form of the supreme soul or of souls you have heard something new god is just a tiny point it is a wonder would anyone accept that such a tiny point is the ocean of knowledge they believe human beings to be that however there it is human beings receiving knowledge from human beings through which there has been there has only been degradation here god himself comes and gives you knowledge and grants you salvation that is he makes you into kings of kings you are amazed that a soul is a tiny point that is extremely subtle. Therefore, the father would also be the same. And he is such a great authority. Look how he comes into the impure world and enters an impure body and teaches you. What do people know of these things? What do people know of these things? They are dangling upside down. The Father orders you, those who follow my directions will become the masters of heaven. There is nothing to be afraid of in this. I, the soul, am bodiless. I now have to return home. I am an imperishable soul. However, it doesn't matter if this old body goes. Yes, Baba gives you the nectar of knowledge to drink so that you may continue to live. The lifespans of those who are serviceable will increase. A lot of service will take place at the exhibitions. There will be a lot of improvement. 
there is a lot of difference between the praise of the god and the praise of krishna the father says you were pure in heaven you should know how you have now become impure the father comes and changes those with stone intellects into those with the divine intellects the children of god should never cause sorrow for any one through their thoughts words or deeds the father says if you cause any one sorrow you will die in great sorrow always give happiness to others guess who come to your home have to be served very well this is an old body so the suffering of karmic accounts has to be settled there is nothing to be afraid of in this otherwise there will have to be punishment become very sweet the father explains with so much love while earning an income never yawn or nod off the father says remember me and you will become free from disease for all time i have come to take you to heaven therefore don't do anything bad many thoughts will come let let me take this and eat it let me hug this one the father knows the horoscope of the children and this is why you have to imbibe good manners the father says i know everyone's horoscope however would i sit and tell each one what is in him or her my duty is to give you teachings i am the teacher don't think that baba knows about you and that he would therefore send you the medicine by himself baba says if you are ill go to a doctor yes the best medicine of all is yoga but i am not a doctor that i would sit and give you medicine yes i do give it sometimes if it is fixed in the drama however i have come to inject you souls if it is in the drama baba would sometimes also give you medicine don't think since baba is powerful and since god can do whatever he wants why does he not liberate me from th- this illness no the father has come to purify the impure acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children essence for dharana first point don't cause any one sorrow through your thoughts words or deeds don't be afraid of the suffering of karma settle your old karmic accounts in happiness second point don't do anything bad by being influenced by your thoughts imbibe good manners in order to become deities understand everything through signals and then do it it shouldn't be that someone has to tell you to do something blessing may you have the faith and intoxication of being the most elevated and wealthy and having full and unlimited rights at present you children become those 
who have such elevated and full rights that you have a right to the almighty authority himself the children who have a right to god also claim a right to all relationships and total wealth at this time you receive from the father the blessing of having most elevated wealth you have the imperishable wealth of all virtues all powers and elevated knowledge therefore no one is a wealthy as you therefore no one is as wealthy as you slogan remain constantly alert and carelessness will end om shanti